So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to link up and use uh, Google Sheets in conjunction with Biobot Pro. Now, the great thing about this is that you can link up as many Google Sheets as you want, and it is easier than ever with the Google Sheets manager. So all you need to do is head on over to that section in the Biobot Pro dashboard. Um, you can access that via the link in your extension or by clicking on the top right here and choosing Google Sheets settings. Now, what you can do is tap connect choose the account you want to link up and then it will ask you for some permissions and such and all you need to do is just allow and continue. Any Google Sheets that are created in the account that you've chosen will appear in here. Now my advice to you is to use a Google account that you have um, linked as part of your Google Chrome. So it should be the same account on both Google Chrome and what you've linked up in here. So um, here's a list of sheets that we've already made. And what you can actually do is create a brand new sheet from within the Google Sheets Manager as opposed to going on to Google Sheets themselves. So um, you really need to do is just tap create and then give your file a name and you can add default headers if you want to. So what that means is uh, at the top of every column, you'll have a header telling you what bit of information that is. So product name, ASIN, um, profit, ROI, and so forth. Instead of having to add them yourself, if you tick that box, it will get added for you. And then just create and your sheet will appear um, in this list. Now you can rename your sheet if you want to at any time. Uh, you can also customize the columns as well. And this has been redesigned to make it even easier to use than ever before. And so if you want to change the order of the columns, so for example, if you wanted ace in first and product name second, all you do is just drag and drop and it switches like that. You can do up, down, left, right, however it is you want to arrange them. If you expand on this, you've got some blank columns, which will be part of your spreadsheet as well. And you can add in some of these labels too. Um, everything that you've got in the preset columns is already there. There's nothing that's in here that's not gonna already be in there. Now what you can do is clear this completely and add everything in the order that you want completely from scratch. If you rearrange everything like, hold, hold, hold up, where am I? You know, what am I doing? Uh, I just need it back to the way it was. You can just reset it and it will go exactly back to the default. And then just tap okay when you are done. You can auto export to whichever Google Sheet. So if you tick this, uh, as soon as you analyze something, it will automatically just export over to whichever link sheet you've ticked. If you want it to be active and show on Bybot Pro, and this will count for both the web view and the extension, you just tick active. You can uh, save the file as whatever file format you want, and you can remove it using this button right here. Um, if you've added a Google Sheet separately to this so on Google Sheets themselves and you can't see it in here, just tap refresh and it will grab that uh, sheet for you from Google. Uh, and then what you'll be able to do is see all of your sheets in here in the export data section, um, which will be exactly the same case over in the web view as well. Uh, when you are wanting to export manually, if you've not ticked auto export, you want to choose which sheet to send something to, all you need to do is just tap the sheet you want to send it to and it will send all of the information there. So a snapshot of the data for this item at this point in time will be sent through to that sheet you've chosen. The source URL field um, is optional, so you don't have to fill this in, but say, for example, you found this product on a certain website and you want to remember exactly where you found it and as an extra bit of information, you just take that URL copy and paste it in this field and that's an extra bit of info that's going to be attached to the item uh, on the export. Now if you very quickly want to navigate to your settings, um, I'd recommend actually using this link right here. So if you're in the extension like, oh I want to go set up my Google Sheets but you know I've got to go into the web view then in settings you can actually just tap this link right here and it'll take you right there. So um, that's basically everything Google Sheets. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree with me, it is super super easy. Um, the redesign is amazing um, and as I say we're always looking to improve things and this is an example of one of the things that we've improved massively to make it even easier than it already was for you to use. 